long time ago on the far west there lived music now every day music would drive these people wild so what better to see which one's the best than with the top 10 list hello there guys my name is Coach's channel and welcome to this video now today Big shout out to Jiffy Rug for suggesting this video. So I thought I would pay homage to your suggestion of a video idea. We're going to be splitting this into two videos. One video, which is my top 10 theme park, UK theme park music, 10 to 6, which is today. And we're going to have another video, which is my UK theme park music top 10, 5 to 1. So we're going to have a top 5 in two different videos. So basically... I'm going to leave you on edge with my final five and leave that video for a couple of weeks. But I've got all my top ten written down, so I don't I can remember them, kind of. And um, yeah, so before we get started, guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you never shoot your video. Make sure you send in your merchandise because I've got some great merchandise that's been sent in. Uh, hopefully, we're going to get all of them sorted and get all of them right here on the channel in a couple of weeks for the next merchandise showcase video. We've got other fantastic content coming, more theme park news and updates, more theme park pack openings. We're going to start filming some Meet the Islander type instruction videos for the Alton Towers Does Love Island series, which begins officially uh, in around a month's time, uh, or just over a month's time. Uh, but before we get started, guys... Please, please keep showing your support for the channel. Make sure you keep subscribing. Make sure you keep sharing the channel. Because uh, we want to get to uh, 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year. If you want me to launch a merchandise website. So, let's get into this video. And let's check out our 10 to 6 of the UK theme park music. So first up at number 10, it is the island soundtrack at Thorpe Park Resort. It's not the longest soundtrack, but it's definitely an atmospheric soundtrack. Now when Thorpe Park entered technically a brand new era, we got this new array of branding around the park. And when this soundtrack was introduced, I, I fell in love with it straight away. Now... I definitely feel like the soundtrack is very underrated. I think it's a very nice soundtrack. Like I said, it's got a lot of atmosphere, a lot of tension to it. And I think it definitely invites you into this island like no other. So that's one of the reasons why I like it. And that's why this soundtrack is at number 10. So let's move on and let's chat a little bit about number 9. So at number 9, it is the terrifyingly exciting Alton Towers Dungeon Exterior Soundtrack. Now this soundtrack is magnificent, absolutely brilliant, and I'm a really big fan of this soundtrack. I, I'm such a big fan of this soundtrack because, again, like the Island soundtrack, it's got this very eerie atmosphere and it's got this sort of build-up of tension. It's got that dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun. Dun, dun. It's got that long running beat and that long running beat creates the atmosphere and even though the beat stays the same and more elements are included and stuffed into the mix, it makes it more atmospheric and it keeps the tension brimming. And it's one of those soundtracks that makes you feel like you know where you are, like yes I'm in this dungeon. So that's why I like this soundtrack and that is why the Alton Towers Dungeon Exterior Soundtrack is at number 9. So at number 8 on your UK theme park tracks FM it is Kamali the African Vacoma suspended looping coaster at Flamingo Land in Malta, North Yorkshire. Now this park is an incredible park for those of you who don't know. Obviously uh, in 2021, they're going to be opening their brand new 10 looping coaster. Uh, but one of the more original coasters from the park uh, was a ride that opened uh, in the early noughties at the park. The early noughties. That was a, a, a big time for my generation <laughs> growing up as a kid. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, in 2006, Flamingland opened Kamali, which was their Vicoma SLC. And it had this great African soundtrack, and it had that that brilliant voice, and the brilliant soundtrack and the vocals were just atmospheric, and it created the sense of tension uh, and surroundings and your sense of knowing where you are. 
uh, and the vocals, like I said, were really cool. They were like, Kumali, way oh, way oh. It was brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Love that part of the soundtrack. It just makes you feel like you're in Africa and you're about to ride on this beast of an SLC. In my opinion, the best SLC in the country. And that is, of course, Kamali. If you don't know what SLC stands for, it is Suspended Looping Coaster. So coming in at number 7 in your theme park UK music tracks FM, it is the entrance music to Poulton's Park. Now Poulton's Park is an incredible family theme park that opened uh, just down right to the bottom of the country near Southampton. It's in a place called Romsey, so very nice looking place from what I've seen from the pictures. Uh, and they're a, f they're a fast growing theme park, you know, I've covered Tornado Springs, their brand new area for 2021, loads on this channel, a lot of interaction between me and Poulton's Park, uh, great friends with the people down there at Poulton's Park, so massive shout out to you guys that are doing incredible work in your theme park. They're a fast growing theme park and one of their big uh, attractions of course will be Storm Chaser in this brand new area, they've got other incredible attractions, Cobra. Uh, the big investment that really started off the fast-growing expansion of the park, Peppa Pig World for the families, that opened way back in 2011. So that's nearly 10 years old. Next year it'll be 10 years old. 10 years since Peppa Pig World opened, which is unreal. Um, and yeah, basically this park is an ever-growing park, and they've got a great entrance music to fit it. And the entrance music is very kid friendly, it's very light, it's very bubbly, it's very fun. Um, and it's got a sense of not just atmosphere, but you know the target market from the sound of the soundtrack. Not just the little kids' voices, you know, piping up every now and then going, Polton's Park. Um, it's not just that that makes it a family friendly soundtrack, it's the fact that the, the music choices, you know, it was the fact that they use that light bubbly soundtrack as well as the voices. That's what makes it a family friendly soundtrack for me. Not just the little voices from kids, but also the uh, the light, you know, fluffy music that they use in the background as well. And it's the same with the other soundtracks at Poulton's Park. If you listen to uh, the Lost Kingdom soundtrack for the, one of their areas, which isn't in my top 10, uh, but it's still great. You know, again, it's for, for a dinosaur, eh, which is usually very scary for kids. Dinosaurs are very scary for kids, but they make it sound so light and adventurous. And it's got that blend of adventure and happiness and positivity. So that's one thing that Paul, Paul's Park do very, very well, and I'm really excited to see what the soundtrack's going to be for Tornado Springs uh, when that opens next year. And finally, at number six, it is the Flume Alton Towers. Now, the Flume is a quacking little ride. It's not there now, unfortunately, so you can't experience the Flume if you haven't experienced it already. But it is a log Flume ride that opened at the Alton Towers Resort from the 80s right up until 2015 when it closed to make way for the Secret Weapon 8 project that opened in 2018. That is now known as Wickerman. So, if you didn't know that already, there was a log Flume on that site, believe it or not. Water and fire? Probably a, not the best connection in fire's favour. Uh, but the flume is definitely a, a, a significant attraction in the Alton Towers history books. I did the flume, um, not when it was uh, the, the original log flume, which it was right from the 80s right up until 2003. Uh, I did do it as the original log flume, however, I did do it as the flume unplugged, and then they got rid of the unplugged and the Imperial Leather sponsorship, and it just became this this bubbly bath original theme called the flume. And so I did both versions, both with the Imperial Leather sponsorship and without the Imperial Leather sponsorship. And, you know, both rides were equally just as good. There was no real change, it was just removing the branding, etc. But... It did feel more at home without the Imperial Leather branding, in my opinion, because it felt like an original theme. It felt more like an original theme, and it felt very, it felt very unique as well as original. And I think that's the same with the Bubble Works refurbishment that went on a couple of years after uh, Flume was rethemed, and obviously Bubble Works is the Dark Rider Chessington, which is now the Gruffalo River Ride Adventure, and. You know, the flume had a really addictive soundtrack to go with it, and this was the soundtrack that came with the refurbishment with the Imperial Leather sponsorship in 2004. 
uh, along with the opening of course of Spinball Wiz there in the Adventureland section which is not far away from the Flume so two quite close investments in the same year and the Flume soundtrack again it's light it's got an atmosphere which is family friendly it's got the quacking noises as well the dorks have always been a massive you know big part of um, my childhood with Alton Towers and you know when the Flume closed obviously I was excited that we're gonna see this massive new wooden coaster but equally, I was kind of sad because I really wanted the flume to stay and I wanted to see a wooden coaster somewhere else in the park if they could. Um, because the, the, the ducks have been such a big part of me growing up with Alton Towers. And it's rides like the flume and all the other old rides that were at Alton Towers during the 2005-06 period that I grew up with. Like the Toyland Tours, Charlie... Uh, the Bouncing Bugs, I think they were known as the Ugg Bugs before then, but uh, I think I did them when there was the Bouncing Bugs when I was a kid. Um, they had the whole Cred Street Theatre, and there was loads of other attractions that make my childhood with Alton Towers. And the, th the whole Flume soundtrack just made me happy all the time as a kid. So, you know, that soundtrack is just missed out on my top five, because, you know, there are better ones now. But it was a positive soundtrack because it had that light, fluent energy about it when it was coming through with the light music and the, the even the slow bits, you know, even the slow bits. And it's even better when you put the ride announcements over the top. It's so much better as a geek. Uh, but uh, there we go. So that is my 10 to 6 of UK theme park music. Uh, make sure you stay tuned in a couple of weeks where I'll be releasing 5 to 1. Uh, so the, from the top five basically uh, so make sure you stay tuned for that video uh, but for now guys thank you very very much for watching this video make sure you like comment subscribe and for now guys my name is Coast Chell Caitlin on the Coast Life and I'll see you guys in the next video very very soon take care guys have an awesome time